I think I'm going to let my vassal uh, opinions recover uh, for a little bit. I've got one guy who's at negative 22, and um, probably not a good idea to be that low. Who controls that? What? Okay, um, so this guy has the Duchy of Genoa, and um, his capital, well his capital is Genoa, but he has land up in Nordland. And he's Catholic, so uh, alright. Sweden actually is feudal, mostly feudal. Um, but yeah, I'm going to let my vast opinions recover a little bit. Did uh, he did not drink the wine? We're trying to kill that guy, so we inherit his lands and stuff. Um, it looks like the. Uh, Bugged uh, Malfian uh, trade posts are all out, so uh, we're going to ambush him on the road. Burn the apostate. Um, made short work of him. They let the driver go, and so yeah, I have another holding. Um, my vassal has taken, um, a lot of the holdings from Rome. The Mosque of Rome, the Mosque of Sutri, the Mo Mosque of Ostia, and the, Mo uh, the city of Viterbo. Uh, the Byzantine Emperor has declared a war on Bohemia. Let's make Bohemia an interesting character. Is there anyone who is not? He's not, actually. He might be after I die, but not right now. Um, my vassals are working on... Uh, trying to win a holy war, a couple of holy wars in the stuff I need in India. I could build, try to build holdings in a bunch of places, but... I don't know. I have abdominal pain. He thinks that I have dysentery. To treat your pain, uh, he had me carry around the bone of a chicken tied into a small pouch around your, my neck to ward off the bad spirits. Health plus two. I have diarrhea. I have fatigue. Uh, every Kadi should read Ibn Rash uh, Rashid's uh, Fasal al Makal, which argues for the legality of philosophical investigation under Islamic law. A man from Kertuba is a master of philosophy, theology, science, logic, the science of medicine, uh, astronomy, and many other subjects. Courtier named Ibn appears. Um...
I think I should declare war on the Byzantine Empire. How many troops do they have right now? 11,000 total. He's the emperor's got consumption. I could bring my retinue back. What is this revolt war? Okay, revolt against the tyranny of somebody. I don't know. Uh, still want to let... I have the flu again. Uh, well, as long as he knows what he's doing. My son has dysentery. And we have successful treatment again. I think once everyone except for the Sultan of Thotids uh, were no longer wounded, uh, once it, uh, everyone but his opinion of me is back down to zero, I will. I can become a propagandist right now, or. I'm about to be promoted anyway. I'm about to have enough divine power to be promoted anyway. Um. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay. I don't think so. Maybe? He is three. Not like he's one or two. But that, uh. That raises an interesting question. Does if a child of under two, let's say, uh, dies from dysentery, do they uh, die? Uh, does the message say that they died attending to chamber business? Just a thought of curiosity. Give it a few more months and I will quite possibly declare a war for something. We have a ton of money right now. Um, I'll deal with him later. Sixty percent uh, in favor of my vassal. If he wins that war, um, actually, let's try to make sure he wins that war. See if I can get him to hire some mercenaries or something. I have a lot of money to give away, so. I'm not worried about that. How are my vassal opinions looking? I have a decadent relative, my grandson. He agrees to stop being decadent. Bogomolist Bagom uh, uprising against in the Byzantine Empire. 
Did consumption start in... Oh no, it started in Chios, okay. Ah, uh, sure, let's shut the gates. Seal it. My vassals declared a holy war for Wallachia. I think I'm going to leave the Byzantine Empire alone for a little bit, now that I'm looking at this, because they are at war with a ton of people. Uh, my vassals specifically. Wait, he's a vassal of the Pope? Okay. That's weird. He's a Germanic pagan who is a vassal of the Pope. Alright. Hindu uprising in Banu. It's actually a fairly sizable uprising. guys around there. They're going up to Bori. Getting a lot of burn apostate events compared to what we've had in like recent past. Catholic uprising in Perm. It's a kind of a weird place for a Catholic uprising. They're not even going to try to run. Yep, they're they're gonna try to run. What's going on here? Let's rank up in the assassins and give this kid a martial education. And my last son go with a diplomacy education, I guess. We're actually going to catch him. I'll take it. We're now a propagandist. Now we have to attack up mountains. Need a new steward. I guess the Sultan of Galicia? He doesn't seem like he would be a powerful vassal, but I might be wrong. It's assigned to lay low. Uh, we'll make her arbitrary. And uh, war's over. Um, disband. Consumption in our capital. 
We have peasant unrest as well. What was that? Hold on. I wish I could kill him. He's got consumption, but uh... He's at war with so many of my vassals that uh, that could cripple him for a long time. Oh, no. Not enough to be a, a threat, apparently. Eighty-seven percent in favor of my vassal. How many troops does this guy have? Not enough. Let's go finish off India. So once the once my vassal's war with this guy ends, I'm going to uh uh declare war for that last duchy oh my god seriously peasant revolt in napata i have made a friend Burn the apostate. Really? Are there are there really only five hundred troops in that? Go to Elodia. My grandson will make him. I guess we'll go with an intrigue education. Someone's trying to kill people. Uh, my vassal might win that. My vassal won that. Alright, that works. Ninety two percent in favor of my vassal. Gathering men for some sort of attack on my territory, I think, of assassins. But, uh. So I read somewhere that it's possible to. Well, not that. Invite assassins to your murder plots, other fellow assassins at uh, a companion level. But maybe not. Whatever. Man. So many uprisings right now. Don't know what's up with that. Hold on. Let's attempt to abduct him. We still have disease in our capital. We do. Um, where is he? Over there. Send in the Sultan of Kiva's troops. And some guy from the north, I guess. I put the word out amongst among my brethren and the assassins when a, an opportunity presents itself so the brethren and sisters in Oldenburg will attempt to snatch Torstein uh, and bring him to me in chains. This might take a while. Come on, win the siege. Ah, 
I'm over my vassal limit. Why? Um... The Byzantine Emperor has died of consumption. Is it because so many of my vassals are, or my vassals' vassals are revolting or something? So it's a kid, a two year old, and the Queen of Italy is their heir, is his heir. will approve the scheme. My fellows and the assassins have informed me that Torstein plans to travel to Rome incognito for a lark. Yeah, I think there's a lot of uh, rebellion going on under my vassals, and I wish they would stop it. So, this guy should be under someone else. I don't know why that uh, that happened. Okay. Uh, Ruern, which is up here. That was taken by this guy, I think. Who's that? Sultan of Galicia? Okay. Hey, we captured him. Um, betrothed can marry. He's the Emir of Valencia. Why are all the? Why did all of these? Uh, people come out from underneath their lieges. We'll revoke that, and then transfer everything else to this guy. Granada. Uh, not Algarve, but Mercia. I'll revoke that and give it to my vassal in Galicia. Give this, give him Valencia. And Galicia. Get Algarve. That solves my vassal limit problem. I don't know. Again, I don't know how they got out from underneath their, uh, their lieges, but I'm just going to go through and make sure, go around my realm and make sure everyone's where they're supposed to be. So I really doubt this guy can, uh, invade me now that he's my prisoner. Just execute him to, uh, Actually, I'll uh, let him let that date come. I don't think he'll declare he'll be able to declare the war. But if he uh, if he does, I will win it automatically, and then banish him, and take what little money he has. Okay, so. That was under somebody. Should I just assume that this was Andalusia? Because that looked like where everyone else came from. Sure. Let's call it that. Uh... 
Oh well. Um, let's deal with this rebellion before I end this episode. Now it's two rebellions. And Banu again. Do they have increased uh, uprising chance or something there? 19% revolt risk. That's really high. What did you guys do? Um, send these guys up here. These guys into Kafrakot. Your court mullah, um, uh, your court mullah Nabil has brought you some troubling news. Words are spreading that worshippers of Shaitan are the root of the terrible epidemic plague ravaging your realm. He encourages me to look for, into these rumors. Uh, sure, we'll have him investigate. Call for my court physician. Everyone at court loves your dog, especially the children. Find much uh, joy in playing with him. We still have our dog. It's done. Ah, uh, has brought you an alarming amount of people who claim to have written and witnessed the abomination of witchcraft. If you are to believe their accounts, the allies of Iblis are many and pose a great threat to your realm. You must find these sinners before it is, before it is too late. I'm going to go in, I think. They're not running? I'm surprised. I'm surprised they're actually going to stick it out and fight. Go with Faith on my daughter. Or some... Whatever that girl was. Uh, we'll become friends with some guy. How many friends do we have? Uh, three, and we have a ton of rivals. Alright, that's done. And I think I'm going to end the episode. Now that all these rebe rebel uh, rebellions are handled, and I think all of my vassal of opinions have recovered fully. Um. Oh, great. Uh, so, uh, my vassal is probably not going to win his war anymore. Because uh, this guy called in allies or the uh, some guys tried to or decided to join the war oh well still have 78 percent in favor of him though now i could in theory declare a holy war for the other uh duchy and uh clear out these guys on his land, on this guy's land. Or that are pestering my vassal. I don't know. I need to end the episode, but um, I will try to keep that in mind for the next one.